Hi there, this is Richard from protopic.co.uk. We thought we'd do a quick unboxing of the Sparkfun Inventors Kit with the retail case. Now, first of all, we should say that we don't pretend that we make this kit, we buy this kit in, and uh, it comes in a nice plastic case. On the back there, you can see the 36 page colour manual made by Umlaut. So, we've got to credit these guys because they've got, done a really good job on the manual there. So, let's just go ahead and open the box up. The Inventor's Kit is a really great kit if you're just starting out in the world of Arduino because it, it comes with the breadboard, the breadboard holder, everything that you're about to see but um, that combined with the manual and the other bits and pieces is really great for a complete novice in the world of Arduino even if you don't really have that much experience in, in C coding or anything like that. And there we have the manual there. Now the case, it's not a hinge lid, be aware that it's got four clips, you need to remove the four clips. Don't try and bend it back on the hinge that isn't there. Just take the lid, and the lid becomes a nice clip-on base. And then we'll have a look at what exactly is in this box. First of all, the manual that we spoke about earlier, just have a little flick through, it's got uh, lots of information on the components that are in the case exactly what a resistor is, what a potentiometer is, you know, real basics for the beginner. Then it's got lovely colour diagrams and like uh, lots of projects for you to do. And by the time you, you go through all of these projects you'll have a real good basis of what the inventor's kit and the Arduino is all about. First up we have the USB cable required for programming the UNO from the computer, then the UNO itself. Bear in mind you might get an SMD version of the UNO and um, we don't have any control over what's in the kit. If that's going to be a problem please contact us before you buy. Obviously the SMD, you can't swap the chip out. This is a beautiful piece of kit. This is the breadboard and UNO holder. And you can see it's got two recesses there. Uh, the little breadboard here clips into the recess on the left and then the UNO clips in on the right. Keeps everything nice and safe and off your workbench. Very, very handy. Obviously the all important jumper wires. Lots of jumper wires, various colours. Uh, and then it's the, we've got a selection of red and yellow LEDs. You then get two bags of 25, so that's 15 total 10k ohm resistors. And two bags of 25, 330 ohm resistors. Lovely little uh, small servo with the associated mounting hardware. And then you get this little uh, bag of goodies. Just empty them out on the bench here. Okay, first up you have a uh, RGB LED diffused. A couple of push button switches. Nice little potentiometer with a easy adjustment knob. Little uh, DC buzzer. A uh, uh, toy motor. A uh, photo cell. And uh, yeah, these are the two 2222 two, two, two transistors and then we have a little temperature sensor and finally a relay also here is a, a little shift register, a dip version of a shift register that's a 74595 now in this section at the top here we have a soft pot these are very handy, nice things to play with two breakaway headers. They're 40 pins and uh, what you can do is use these to connect into the breadboard and if you need say only 10 pins and you just break off 10 pins. Two dials just dropped on the bench there. Now to go along with the soft pot we've got this flex sensor. Now these are really cool. These were originally designed for the Nintendo Power Glove and effectively they give you a voltage reading as they get flexed. You can see how the Power Glove would work there. These are very nice, very nice thought. Uh, you get these kind of silk screen overlays for the breadboard, made out of paper, but they give a sort of graphical indication of every project that's in that nice 36 page manual. You see all the, the wires and everything. Now what you do is you basically take the, the overlay, place it on top of the breadboard, and take whatever, whatever component you're going to be using in that project, find it on the silk screen, 
just line up the holes and push it right through the, the paper and into the breadboard. It's a great way for beginners to be able to you know, figure out how to even use a breadboard for example. And it all ties in with the individual projects in that manual. So it's a, in general a really great kit. We're really impressed with it. So let's go ahead and uh, put it back in the box. Let's just say something about that box. It's uh, fantastic that you get this kit and it, it comes with something that allows you to tidy it away again and keep your workspace nice and clean, keep everything together. There's also a really big large section in there so you don't have to particularly deconstruct your projects every time. You know, you can keep them partially assembled. Now we have these uh, kits in stock every day and we'll have them available for same day dispatch. So uh, why don't you buy one? I don't think you'll be disappointed.